Can an older couple living in Texas get a divorce and still live under the same roof with separate bedrooms? This is the question that was sent to me. Hi, my name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney practicing family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. This person writes to me, my husband makes all the rules about money. I have no say whatsoever. I want to protect my assets in the marriage, and he's older, and I don't want to kick him out. Is divorce the only answer? To her first question, can an older couple living in Texas get a divorce and still live under the same roof with separate bedrooms? Yes, there's no law in Texas that says you have to be married to live together. And so the issue that's often presented to me is, what about common law marriage? There's a misconception that if you're living together for a certain period of time, that you'll automatically become common law married. And that's simply not true in Texas. In Texas, there's three elements to a common law marriage. One is you have to live together together, but no specified period of time. Two is you have to hold yourself out to other people as married. And three, you have to intend to be married. So if she does not want to be married, she doesn't intend to be married, and she doesn't tell other people that she's married, then it doesn't matter that she's living with him. It would be a good idea to put something in writing and have him sign it, and they both agree that they're not married, they're not going to be married. Um, at the very least, they need to file separate tax returns. Don't file a joint tax return claiming to be married if you're not intending to be married. But the bottom line is, yes, you can live together with someone and not be married to them, even if you were married and you got divorced. The second question, though, is divorce the only answer? No. I have had a case where, similarly, the wife was concerned because husband was entering into some risky ventures business-wise. She didn't trust his partner. She was afraid that he was going to lose everything that they owned, and she and the kids would be destitute. So she wanted her property separate from his so that he couldn't touch her property. And so we entered into a post-nuptial agreement, it's just like a prenuptial agreement, but it's after you got married. And we separated out all their community property, just like they were getting divorced. We said these are going to be his property and his debts, and this is her property and her debts, and he deeded the house to her, and they both signed the agreement. In that particular case, shortly after they signed all the paperwork, he died unexpectedly, and because he died and they were still married, she was able to inherit all of his property, whereas if they'd gotten divorced, she wouldn't have inherited any of his property. So that worked out very well for my client. And the bottom line is, if you have questions about getting divorced, what your options are, whether you want a prenuptial or a postnuptial agreement, give me a call. I'm Laura Hurd.